What's up guys, it's your boy Jay from JS Films. Today we're gonna be match moving with DaVinci Resolve 14 studio version. Let's get to it. Got a GH5 footage here. I'm just gonna drag and drop. Perfect. So the first thing we're gonna do is a sky replacement. So we're gonna put our actual footage to video track two. I know this is insane, but just follow me. Put that in. Video one, your sky or whatever you're trying to do in video one. All right, so we're gonna go to color tab. We're gonna create another serial node. Actually, let's move this. Let's right click here. Let's add so source out output, alpha source. Create another serial, alt S. Connect this to your alpha. Okay. Now let's normalize this image a little bit. Let's just add a LUT. I mean, simple LUT, right? Just give it a little bit of contrast. We're gonna go to our second node. Let's go ahead and close this. Let's go to our keyer. We're gonna try and key the sky here. This is a sky replacement match moving. So let's just try to see if we can get a good key out of this. I don't like how that's picking up some of those rooftops at all. So let's see what we can do here. Let's go mess with the heights. Oh. Okay, there. Ooh, no. Trying to get the sky to be keyed up there as best as I can. Let's do some black clips. White clips. It's not really doing anything. Uh, clip black. Here, let's clip some blacks there. And then clean white. There you go. That's a, it's blurry a little bit. That's a pretty good key. Let's uh, invert this. All right, it's not touching too much of our footage. That is good. All right, so if you go back to edit, I'm gonna go. Where is it? Video two. I'm gonna stretch this out. You're gonna start see, to see that blue sky that we just did, but we're gonna position that just right. Zoom up. Right, it's, you know, good placement. Uh, you can see a little bit of black there, so let's let's put it over to the right. All right, perfect. Let's go back to the color tab. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna motion track this sky to this footage. So let's go to tracker controls. Let's go to stabilizer if you're not there already. Cl classic stabilizer. Go back to the beginning of the footage, right? Make sure we're in classic, okay, good. Track forwards. And it's tracking. And as you can see, it's not working correctly. Well, that's just because we just started. All right, now that we have that done, go back to the beginning, click this, copy track, track not truck, copy track data, go back to your sky footage or picture, doesn't matter, this is just a JPEG. Click on this. Classic stabilizer, click on this, paste track data, make sure your strong is negative 100, enter, press stabilize, and then play. Should stick. I mean, now as you can see, it's probably not working as well as After Effects, but you can tweak these settings and you can get it to work. You know what I mean? So, and if you want, you can go back to the edit page and you can move this around too. There. You can change these settings too if you want. But yeah, here we go. Let's Shift F, zoom, out, zoom in. So you can see it's moving down a little bit, which is kind of weird, right? 
but yeah. Tweak, with, tweak the options until you find the best setting you want. And obviously I did a really crappy job keying here. You can do better, but I just wanna keep this video short and sweet. Now, if you wanna do a text, you can do that as well. We can copy tracking data. So let's delete that sky. Let's delete this one. So we only have that. Now I have a PNG text here, put it on top of it. Scale it to the clip size. Go to color, go to your text, same thing. Make sure you're in the classic stabilizer, paste tracker, negative 100 strong, so you're inverting it, stabilize. And now your text should be stuck to the footage. Okay. Pretty cool, right? All in DaVinci Resolve, you can do this. Crazy cool. So yeah, that's just a really quick video showing you guys how to match move or uh, replace the sky in DaVinci Resolve 14. Peace.